A crazy scientist took 10 people into his lab to check their intelligence. He gave everyone two pills and a glass of water. He told them, one pill is a placebo and the other is poison. Whichever you take, I'll take. But somehow everyone ended up unconscious after the trial except for the scientist. How did he do it? Both pills were placebo. The poison was in the water. Right before the final soccer match, the team's goalkeeper went missing. The police arrived and they had three suspects from the rival team. Mike said he was signing autographs for his friends. Jake said he had broken his ankle and he was getting a massage. John was training at the gym before the match. The police immediately knew who did it. It was Jake. You don't get a massage when you break your ankle. Uh Uh-oh, Allie was missing for days when her husband Orson called the police to report it. Detective Wells arrived at the scene and found her purse buried in the garden. Inside, there was a note that read, It's a sign. You're mine. I redesign your new life. The police had three suspects with unusual names. Orson, her husband, Ryan, her best friend, and Atlas, her brother. Who took Allie? It was rhyme. Almost all the words in the note rhyme with his name. A worker was found unconscious near the entrance of an abandoned building. He has no memory of what happened, but seems to have fallen from the building. Detective Marks is assigned to this case, and he must figure out whether the worker fell or was pushed. He goes to the first floor, opens the window, and throws out a small rock. He does the same on the second floor and all the way to the top. When the detective comes back down, he's sure the worker was pushed. How does he know? He had to open windows on all floors to throw out rocks. This was an abandoned building, and someone closed the window right after pushing the worker. Detective Jones was called one day by Border Control about a suspicious pickup truck. Every day, the vehicle went back and forth between two countries with a large sack in the back of its truck bed. When the detective opened the sack, it was filled with sand. What was the driver smuggling? Trucks. A doctor walked into an unconscious patient's ward. There, he saw a nurse buttoning up her shirt. As soon as she noticed him, she exclaimed, It's not what you think! The nurse isn't lying, but why was her shirt unbuttoned in the first place? She got locked out of the changing room and knew that the patient was unconscious. So she went to his ward to change into her uniform. Yeah, I believe her. While driving in a storm, John saw three people standing in the rain at the bus stop. But he only had one seat available in his car. Who gets the ride? His childhood friend, an old lady that looks like she's freezing, or his wife? John asked his childhood friend to drive the old lady to the hospital and then take the car back to his house. And John himself will wait for the bus with his wife. Shane and Mia went to Japan for their honeymoon. Only Shane came back, and Mia's family called the best detective in town. What should be the detective's first move? Inspect Shane's suitcase. Inspect Shane's house. Call the travel agency Shane and Mia used. Call the agency to see how many return tickets Shane had booked. He's a suspect, 
and he shouldn't know the police are investigating him to avoid losing the evidence. A geography teacher vanished on the first day of school. When the police arrived, they suspected four people who claimed to have alibis. The landscaper was mowing the front lawn. The English teacher was giving students a surprise test. The principal was preparing for his welcoming speech. And the coach was meeting new students who wanted to join the football team. Who was lying? The English teacher, of course! <laughs> students don't get surprise tests on the first day. Well, maybe not at this school. <laughs> Tom was walking in a snowy park at 10 p.m. when he got attacked from behind. He didn't see who knocked him out, and he immediately went to the police. The detectives questioned four suspects. Adam said he was at a suit fitting for his dinner later. Daniel said he was hosting a party at his place. Susan said she was working out before going to work. And Luke said he went to the park to get some cool photos of flying birds. One of them is lying. Who? It's Luke. It's next to impossible to see birds at night in winter. Someone knocked on Amy's hotel room door. When she opened it, she saw a mysterious man. He apologized and said he'd mistaken Amy's room for his. When he left, Amy called the police. Why? Nobody knocks on the door of their own room. This is a technique used by people who want to break into someone's home. James ordered a coffee from his local bakery, put in some sugar, but then noticed a fly in his cup. He told the staff member, and they took back the coffee and brought him a new one. But when he got a sip, he got angry. Why? His new coffee was already sweetened. The staff member only removed the fly. Mark is locked in a 30-foot tall cell with an earthen floor and a window near the ceiling. There's nothing else in his room but a shovel and a bed. The entrance is blocked with concrete. How can he get out? Mark can shovel the soil to the wall underneath the window and climb out. <laughs>